Hello everybody, so today I would like to show you how you can sort a array in JavaScript. To sort an array is actually much simpler than what you think. So we have the sort the sort function, the sort method. So let's first create a array. Let's do array one. Let's do first a array with numbers. So um, I will have four, three, four, two, five, six, and five. Perfect. And here I will do array dot sort. So it will it will mutate the the array one. It will change the values in array one. It doesn't return anything. So you don't have to do const new array equals no. Just do array one dot sort, and then you can do a console log array one and let's see the value so for showing this in this video i'm using code runner if you are interested code runner actually does the same as doing node and then test.js it's just simpler and then if you are using code runner usually you would have to go to settings so preferences no uh, yeah preferences settings and then to show the source code of the settings to have the settings.json and you will have to add code-runner.run in terminal tree. That's it. And then you will just have to save it. And here I will just need to do option command option control sorry option control n. And you see two four five six. Now if I want the opposite, how do I have to do it? Well I need a anonymous function it will be a flat row function. So a narrow function and here to be a, b, and the opposite it means is descending. It was ascending before and now descending it means I will have a, b minus a, like this. And then we can run again, you see, six, five, four, two, because by default is a, and then minus b which is two four five six and the same this is just a anonymous function i could have done it that way sorting equals and then you have the arrow function here like this and then i would have sorting and now if i save and you see two four five six if i do the opposite b minus a i save it 6542 lovely and now if i have some strings so we have a dog i will have a cat i will have a parrot and a snake i can do the same descending first i will just do sort like this and let's execute cat, dog, parrot, and snake. Perfect. And now, if I want to have A, B, I can actually do, especially if we want to be case insensitive, I will do const A lower case equals A dot to lower case. And then I will have const B lower case case equals b dot to lowercase and here i will do if a equals b then i will just return zero because we don't want the same and then we are going to do return a is greater than b i will do one otherwise minus one let's do this and let's just execute i have cat dog parrot parrot and snake that's correct and if i do minus if i do the opposite and one here snake parrot dog sorry dog and not dot dog like this and then cat and i could have done just like this b or oh, sorry b greater than a 
and then one and minus one and it's exactly the same usually what you would see on the internet is something a little bit to me to verbose they do a greater than b you do return one if b is if a is lower than b you do return minus one and then you would have the default return which is zero if a and b are the same you would do like this you see and the same if you want to do descending and not ascending you do like that now if we want to sort a an array containing objects well it's simple i will have some objects an object here and then another one here another one here and here we have name again let's use the same example and here we have priority we have another property which is priority so first the name the name because it's an object it's a few objects in an array so we have the name property one and then priority it will be four for instance four and then i will have name it's snake here priority it will be a um, priority one why not and then name it will be dog like this and priority it will be two and then finally, I will have a last object. It will be name. We will have parrot. And then our last priority. And you guessed it. Three. Perfect. So we have that. And here, it will be a little bit different in our arrow function. We will have a dot priority minus b dot priority and that way if i do if i execute the code you will have snake first because it's priority one and then dog parrot and cat if i do the opposite if i do b dot priority minus a dot priority i save it cat first because it's priority four and then three two one if i have two priority four well, it will be the two first ones because we did descending. If I do ascending and I do a dot priority minus b dot priority, it will be uh, the, the two priority four. So the fourth ones are cat and snake. And that's correct. So now you have seen how you can sort some objects in an array really easily thanks to javascript just a little bonus because i received some feedback mentioning that uh, why it has to be case insensitive when we sort a array like what we did and um, if you remember a array with some strings and if we do descending if i have cat if i have parrot if i have snake and if I have um, another one, which will probably be a dog. And here, why we have to do array one, why it has to be array one. And then what we did before, if you remember, we had A, B, and then we had curly brackets. And here, what we did, we did A, we did const A lower, case equals a dot to lowercase and so on i will show it to you so we could have done that way if a is b if they are identical then we just return zero if not so we could just have done without curly brackets here like this if not we do return a is greater than b we do one otherwise so this is a ternary operator condition and we do otherwise we do minus one 
if I do console log array one and if I try to see the result, I will have cat dog. That's correct. However, now if I do P, if I do cat like that, I save it. You see, so now we have dog, snake, cat, and parrot, and they are at the end. So this obviously is not correct because cat has to be after dog. So this is why we had to make the strings either lowercase or uppercase. So we had to do const a lowercase equals a dot to lowercase and then const b lowercase equals b to to lowercase and then we had to do if a lowercase is equals to b lowercase with on zero and then a lowercase is greater than b lowercase we return one otherwise minus one let's execute this and this is correct now you see cat dog parrot and snake so that's the reason why we had to use a lowercase and b lowercase because you can you can clearly see otherwise it doesn't work i hope it helps